Hey guys, this is Salamander Anagram with ADSRSounds.com, and in this video I'll show you how to build a clipping indicator for Reactor. So, in general, you want to have your audio signals range from the values of negative 1 to positive 1. And if your audio signals go outside of this range, you can cause distortion in your final signal. So the clipping indicator will just light up when you go outside this range to let you know that your signal is getting distorted. We have a built-in clip indicator in Reactor, which you can see when I attach this sine wave to the output here. That we're already getting in the red. Um, so I don't really like this clip indicator because the signal is actually technically within the range that's acceptable. It's between the values of negative 1 and 1. So, in order to build our own clipper indicator, I'm going to use the peak detector module. I'm going to give it a release time of 60. And I'm going to compare the output to a value of 1 using a math compare module. And we'll compare that to 1 and we'll use the greater than output to control the input of a lamp module which you can find in the panel menu. So now the lamp will light up whenever our signal goes over a value of 1. So you can see now it's off. If I change the amplitude to say 1.1 we can check again and see that the lamp has turned on. Alright, so that's how you build a very basic, simple clipping indicator in Reactor. Once again, this is Salamander Anagram with ADSRSounds.com. Thanks for watching.